Hi, Lisa here. Um, back in 2015, my dad and I had our DNA tested through 23andMe. I did post the results on the Dixon Family Genealogy blog, which I run. Um, but 23andMe currently has their research in Canada paused and I have posted a blog about the fact that uh, my dad and I are going to be doing uh, the Ancestry DNA kits which I have purchased which you can watch the video on me opening the kit and explaining um, but I I did post the results on the blog but I've never showed them through the 23 and me website. Um, I'm going to share the link to my blog for anybody who wishes to view the blog and to follow. Um, it is Dixon Family Genealogy dot blogspot dot ca and if you follow the rest of the link that will take you to the page I am currently looking at. Um, always over on the right side is the search this blog so you can search trying to find stuff you can also follow by email and I highly recommend subscribing to my blog because um, whenever I post an entry you will automatically receive an email and know and be able to view and I welcome adding comments if you do not have like a blogspot account and you choose to do it and not only is it if you could you know like this person um, put your name in it and you do not need to be related to me to be commenting and sharing information and then you can just see it shows the archive there but um, we're gonna look at the results through 23 me Currently, just the Ancestor DNA is just showing that I've activated the kits and sometime over the holidays, um, my dad and I will be doing our DNA uh, test and then we will be mailing them off, but it will take six to eight weeks um, for us to get our results and it could take longer due to high demand, it says. but. Um, so, I'm just going to view it. So, this is the 23andMe, my account. I'm currently viewing my profile. But this is the home page. So, this is what I see when I log in. And see, even at the top here, you can see that 23andMe has paused our research program again. We will notify you by email when participation becomes available again. So, I can still log in and view my results, but I'm not getting anything new right now. So you get the recommend it for you, a quick C2, your ancestral composition, and your DNA results, and your ancestor overview, and I will be going over that stuff in more detail in a second. Um, then you can see your never, no, Neanderthal, sorry, that word always screws me up, ancestry. Um, your browse, your raw data, your health overview, and then your career for family and friends. And you could do surveys to help learn more, and you get access to the news and stuff, and you can watch the video on uh, how your DNA is processed in the lab, which I have watched it before, it's very interesting. If, especially if you're concerned in doing the DNA tests. Doing, and then there's just future content and activity feed and stuff like that on your main page. And then here you can go to your results. And you can choose, you can get the test will do both health and ancestry. Um, I will not be sharing the health um, results because that's private, but you can see that you can, it shows health risks, drug response, in, 
to inherited conditions, traits, and health tools. But I'm not going to share that stuff just because it's kind of private and uh, I don't want to share that with strangers. But um, we're going to be looking over at the Ancestry stuff, so I'm going to go to the Ancestry overview. And so this we're currently looking at my results. Um, so this is the Ancestry overview page. Um, and so you can see that they're showing one close relative to me, which is my dad's DNA. Um, and for under the extended family. And then it is showing 18 second and third cousins. And then 715 fourth cousins. And then 11 distant, distant cousins. Um, then you can see um, from my father's line. It shows that I have ancestor connections in Europe and the Near East. And then it even shows it highlighted there on the map in the blue area. And then if you go to your mother's line, it is showing that I have ancestor connections in Europe and the Near East as well. And it shows it on the little map there. And I find this surname thing very interesting. It shows um, top related surnames from other people's DNA tests that could be related to you. Not necessarily 100%, but it's something that could help with your research. And of course, you can see Dixon is listed there. Um, so let's take a look in detail of the Ancestor Composition, which is showing that I am 58. 8.6% British through uh, both sides of my family. So let's take a better close look. So we're currently looking at the map view, a nice colorful map which I couldn't post this on my blog, I couldn't. I tried hard to copy it to get it and it wouldn't let me but it's all nice and colorful and it's even color coded which matches on the other side um, so I am 95.4% Europe and then it is breaking down into different categories and as you scroll over the different categories it zooms in closer on the map to that region which I like. So that 95.4% is broken up under all these other categories showing where. So um, my brother Jay will be very happy that uh, we are 58.6 British and Irish. So out of that 95.4%, 58.6% of that is British and Irish. So Jay, yes, we might come from England. All right. Little shout out there to my brother. He's always wanted us to descend from England. Um, so, 3.8% of my DNA is from East Asian and Native American. And again, if you scroll over, it shows you on the map and it breaks that 3.85% under smaller categories and it zooms in on it so you can see where that is on the map and then you can show that I am 0.3% sub saharan African and then again it breaks it down for you in more detail and then 0.1% South Asian and then there's 0.4% unassigned and then all those percent total up to the 100% DNA that makes me up. 
And if you look over here, it's showing that my results were last updated December 19th, 2014, and those results are phasing against one parent. Unfortunately, I can't test uh, my mother's DNA uh, since she passed away, but um, I am going to try to get uh, my brother and sister's DNA tested to learn more information through hoping to find more in their DNA. So now we're looking at the split view. So this is showing which percent of DNA I get from my father and which percentage of my DNA I get from my mother. And then if you come over on this side, it breaks it down for you. So it is showing 45%, so sorry, 45.5% is European. And then again, it breaks that down into smaller categories. And then it's 3.8% is from East Asia and Native American. And again, it breaks that down. And 0.3% is Sub-Saharan African, and it breaks it down for you into the different categories. And then 0.1% is South Asian, and 0.4% is unassigned. So that is the DNA I get from my mother. And now you scroll down and it's comparing the DNA from my dad's test to mine. So from your father, 50% European, and then it breaks it down into the different categories. And then 0.1% is East Asian and Native American. And then at the bottom it's showing 100% of all that. Uh, all that DNA adds up to the 100% DNA in me. That makes up me. And then we can also go and view under the chromosome view. So it, this shows the DNA on the side from the first page from the map view. But now it's showing it as the chromosome view here. And as you scroll down, it sections out that showing you it through the chromosome view where that's related to by changing colors. So you can see where they got that through your chromosome part of your DNA. And then you also have access, to, I'm not going to click on them because I, I wanted to show the actual results, but you can go click on your maternal line, your parental line, your Nathaniel ancestry, and then access to your ancestry um, tools. Um, and so now I'm going to switch profiles and we're going to go and view my dad's DNA. So, because, so now we're on the map view of his DNA. So, nope, I select it. So, he is 99.7% European, and then it breaks that down, and again, you can scroll over to see the region, which I, I kind of like. Um, and then 0.3% is Middle Eastern and North African, and then 0.1% of his DNA is unassigned, and then it totals 100% for my dad's DNA. Um, oh, the split view is not available uh, for my dad, because it does not, it needs to be compared against a parent's DNA, and I don't have D, uh, DNA from his parents, because they passed away, so I don't have access to their DNA to do a split view comparison, which it needs to, because for my DNA, I was able to view it because I have, my, my dad got tested, so we have access to his. So then this is his chromosome view, 
and then again it shows it by changing as you scroll over the DNA and again he has access to all that and then it has connection to uh, family and friends so I'm not going to bother worrying about clicking on this but it shows that DNA relatives manage Sharon build a tree family traits and then you can go to the research and community so you could do surveys um, quick questions discoveries and incentives and then the community where you can contact other people and um, I am looking forward to comparing the results from the Ancestry DNA test to the results of the 23andMe results. So look forward to a video about that. Alright, thank you.